say a couple of things here. Zenith and I are here to um, share our thoughts on a couple of things that are going on in the spirit keeping community and uh, just wanted to cover some um, personal opinions of what's going on. Lately there's been a lot of drama floating around about uh, rumor spreading and uh, twisting words and things like that and um, I just wanted to give some heartfelt feelings toward the community as a whole about all of this silly stuff. And for you, for those of you who don't know exactly what's going on, uh, basically there are a couple of different groups of the um, spirit conjurers within the spirit keeping community. And it seems like there's a lot of rifts that have been um, started to be created between us. And uh, I've noticed a lot of them is between the free spirit adoption shops on Tumblr and the paid for shops such as um, mine and Pandora's, uh, you know, on the other side of the community. It, it's weird to, to have them both on like, you know, one side and then the other side, because to me, I see them both as the same because um, we're all in the same practice. But um, I just wanted to go over a, a few of my own thoughts. So this is going to be a lot of rambling and um, feel free to tune me out whenever you want to. But uh, I've just been thinking about a lot of things, and I really would like to get my thoughts out to you guys. So here's the main gist of what's been going on. Um, lately, there have been a number of uh, miscommunications happening between our groups. Um, somebody will take something that I or another conjurer has said uh, within our group, like on our Discord group or whatever, and has turned it around and sent it to um, another a group of conjurers um, out of context. And that hasn't happened just for these like free spirit adoption groups and stuff, but it's also happened within our own community on our own Discord server. And um, where somebody has taken something that, say, I have said and sent it to another conjurer and said, hey, Lou said this about you. And then they get really mad because they see it out of context or they read it in a certain way that um, I didn't mean for it to be read like that. Or something like that. So um, I just want to give my own personal opinion about what's going on and um, hopefully show a little uh, transparency for all of those of you who may be skeptics or uh, may not think I'm a real person or, <laughs> or the majority of weird things that are going on because um, I've just been seeing a lot of hatred going around and a lot of rifts created, like I said, and and um, I'd like to try and do my best to mend those. You know me. I'm, well, if you don't know me, then you'll know once I say this. Um, I am a peacekeeper at heart, and I hate seeing these um, situations happen. So uh, let's see. What, what else can I say about this? Um, there's quite a number of things I want to cover, so bear with me. So among all of this drama, I just want to get this out right now. I don't hate anyone. I don't think anyone is a phony. I don't think anyone is a fraud. I don't think that, you know, your practice is invalid because I do a different kind of the same practice or anything like that. Everything has its own truth to it, in my opinion. And um, it doesn't matter what age you are. It doesn't matter how long you've been in the practice. What matters is the heart that goes into it and whether you are, that you know, that you are legitimate. And um, basically only time will tell for a lot of groups. And uh, I just, I don't really like that there are so many people coming after other conjurers or, you know, so many conjurers coming after other conjurers and um, telling each other off or saying, oh, these people are horrible and they're doing this and this to each other's spirits and they're capturing these spirits and they're they're sending thought forms to such and such to try and deceive them or whatever, you know, or, or, oh, Lou is such a bad person because he doesn't think that, um, these beings are valid or he doesn't think that this spirit abuse is correct or is true or and blah, 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 and stuff like that. And I just want to let you guys know that that's not true. You know, I take spirit abuse and I take lots of things like that really seriously. It's just, um, I take them in a very analytical point of view and I try to see both sides of the situation before I come to a conclusion. And um, I think a lot of the drama has stemmed from um, 
other conjurers deciding to go to these, quote, spirit abusers and talking to them for their side of the stories uh, before making a decision. And, and um, in turn, it's caused a lot of other conjurers to feel like um, they've been betrayed by these conjurers who've gone to the spirit abusers to talk to them. And I just want to let you guys know that's not the case. Um, that sort of mentality is the mentality that I take where everything should be looked at in a balanced and analytical way. You know, we need to study both sides of a story before we can come up with evidence or come up with the truth. And um, I just think that's the more mature way to go about it. Anyway, um, to get out of all that mess, I don't want to cover all that very much because it's been um, trodden on so much and I'm so tired of listening to it. But I just want to let you guys know that I love you. And I care about all of you. And there's a lot of spirit adoption groups that have um, turned against... My hands are shaking. Stop it. Have turned against me and turned against a lot of other uh, paid-for shops because of all of the drama that has been going on. And I just want to let you guys know that I've never stopped following your tumblers. Um, I still read your posts. I still uh, like your posts on occasion. And... I don't want you to think that my opinion of you has become any less for the things that you have done or that you have not done um, or the things that we have done or not done. And uh, by we, I mean um, mine and Pandora's and our affiliates. Um, I just want to let you know that I understand that a lot of you are young. And I understand that a lot of you are still trying to figure out where you are as far as the spirit adoption goes and things like that. A lot of you have been in this practice for a long time. And uh, this is a really meaningful thing for you. And I just want to express to you that it is a very meaningful thing to me too. This is my life. It's what I do every day. I conjure, you know, I bind, and I love my spirits. And I love the spirits that we send out to other people. I love connecting other people with friends and with lovers and with family members and soulmates and um, all manner of benign creatures and, and things like that. And, you know, I've been doing this for a while now. And um, to reach out, you know, a couple of years ago, I didn't even know that spirit keeping was a thing. And I will say that right now because, you know, Pandora and I did conjure. We did conjure and we did do pacts and binds in our own way. Um, for many, many years before we got into the community. It was just within um, the last couple of years, it was during uh, the year 2015, that we actually found out that other people do the same thing we do. So it was a really cool thing for us to, to delve into this community and really try our hand at, at opening up a shop, which, you know, we had been for a long time, we'd been connecting other um, spirits to their own companions, excuse me, you know, and, and it was sort of like a matchmaking service for us for a long time. And now that we are in this for other people, it's still a matchmaking service for us. But I find it so significant. And it's this, you know, I don't go a single day without channeling a spirit. I don't go a single day without um, talking to a companion. And um, it really matters a lot to me. And I know for a lot of you on Tumblr and a lot of you who are not on Tumblr and maybe on Facebook, or on Discord, or whatever area that you um, do your shop thing, or you do your practice, it really matters to you too. And that, you know, I, I empathize with you. I just want to let you guys know that I don't hate you. I don't talk down about you. I, you know, I'm a very analytical person as a whole. So if there's things that I say that come off really strange, or come off, um, really cold or callous, it's not because I hate you. And it's not because I am degrading your spirits or degrading you or anything like that. It's just how I process things, you know. And um, I know it sounds like an excuse, and it kind of is, but um, words can be misinterpreted really fast on the internet um, through typing. And so this is why I wanted to do this silly little rambling blog to let you guys know that um, this is the real me. This is Lou, you know, <laughs> this is who I am. I am a pre-FTM uh, person who collects BJDs and uh, conjures spirits and does artwork and all that jazz. And um, 
you know, I'm a real life person. Pandora is a real life person. And the things that you say and the things that you do do affect us. And I know that the things that I do and say will affect you guys too. So um, just, you know, keep in mind that there's people on the other side of those computers that you're talking to. It's not just, you know, oh, this person may or may not be real. So I'm just going to say these things about them because, you know, that's not very nice. And I'm not calling out anybody because I don't really have anybody to call out on about that. But, you know, like I said, it's just a rambling and um, it's just the way I work. I've just wanted to do a little vlog on this for a long time now. And because this has been going on for a few months, ever since um, Pandora and I delved into the uh, spirit keeping community on Tumblr. So um, ever since then, there's been a lot of drama and a lot of uh, craziness that's been going on. So I just wanted to let you know my part and um, that I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. What, what I do. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Zenith, I can't talk today. Um... I'm going to keep doing what I love doing, and um, I really hope to see a, a reuniting of our groups in the future, and let you guys know that I love you, and I respect you for what you do, and just because you say something about me, or that you are against some of my views, um, doesn't make you any more invalid, it doesn't make me any more invalid with practices, and um, I feel that we can really unite as a society despite our differences and despite what we think. And um, I know I'm just a, you know, I'm just a little nothing when it comes to the, the whole big picture, but, you know, I really hope that my voice matters a little bit, at least to some of you. And um, anyway, Zenith and I love you. I know Pandora loves you. And we just want uh, this September to be the best September of our community and um, I really respect you guys and hope that there are great things for all of us in the future. So um, that was it for me actually. I don't have anything to add. Do you have anything to add? No? Well that was it. Um, thank you guys. Love you. Stay beautiful.